Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to another episode of Trucking Diaries EU. So today I thought um, I thought we'd get ourselves a truck. I was thinking about holding off a bit longer. I think in Trucking Diaries uh, US, I, I definitely did hold off a bit longer. But I thought, you know what? I've got 25000 in the bank. I'll pick up a hundred loan. I can probably get a new truck for around about 105, maybe 110 with, with some extras. Although, given my current level, level 3, I don't think we can get much, you know, in the way of extras. But So let's go ahead and get a bank loan first. I think we're going to need 100k, uh, which I I'm guessing we'll pay this off early or possibly take out a 50 fairly soon and, and pay half of that off. I'm going to try and get this cleared down as quickly as possible. 2,800 daily instalment. Uh, I hope I can cope with the payments. I think I can. I mean, I've managed to save up 25 grand, so why not? In terms of what truck I've decided to go for... Well, I had a look around for some classic trucks. I had a look at the uh, the Actros Mercs, like the MP2s and that kind of thing. Uh, I had a look at the DAFs. I seriously considered a DAF. I also considered one of the old Volvos, and in the end, I plumped for one of my uh, one of my more favourite trucks, which is the Scania 143M. This mod here. This mod is in the mod spreadsheet. In case you're interested in trying it out, it's the just look for the 143M in the mod spreadsheet. Uh, it's a good truck. It has a different sound pack for the V8 engine range, but I very much doubt I'll get the V8 engine unlocked at my level. But it's something that we could do later. Uh, if if I play this for a while and get a little bit bored of it, maybe, I might swap it out for something else later. So I don't promise to stay with this forever and ever and ever in this series, but I'm certainly going to try with it now. I wanted to go for something more classic uh, in Trucking Diaries EU, and I think this fits the bill. This is like a... A, a late 80s early 90s kind of truck and i think it fits the the classic kind of build that i'm looking for so let's go ahead and customize it uh as best as we can as you can see well i'm not going to get an awful lot of options here. <laughs> level level 10 and 12 is when i'm going to start unlocking new chassis options but i can't afford them anyway so it's no big deal uh, a new engine's available at level 4 than at level 7 so maybe we can upgrade at 7 actually at level 8 we get a bunch of engines look at that we get two there so everything happens later. Having our own truck should mean that we can level up a bit quicker as well. Uh, transmission options. We've got the 10B or the Opticruise with a retarder. Uh, I think I'll take this one. I'll forego the retarder and just take a 10. In theory, I can take the Opticruise, but I'm going to shift manually anyway. So let's go with the Super 10 and we'll not have the retarder. Maybe we can get that one later, although it doesn't say we've got stuff to unlock later, which is interesting. So I do wonder about that. Um, sh interior shadow is the only option we've got at the moment. Again, we're pretty restricted, but as you can see, it's not a bad interior. I mean, given the age that it came from, I quite like it, really. Could do with a bit more detail around here, but it's not bad. It's a bit, bit plasticky on the wheel, but it's not bad. Um, let's do... Okay, it actually comes with an old lady paint, which um, I like the red apart from the... I don't think the grey works. I think what we could do is we can probably change this slightly. If we take this red and we get rid of that grey, if we, if we smack that down to a red, the same red as well, and then maybe darken it um, not too much, not like a, like a black colour, but maybe go a bit more crimson perhaps and then maybe in the white as well if we sort of there you go so that's looking better already instead of having a white highlight we go for a slightly red highlight like that so i've actually got a three tones of the same red i think that looks quite nice um maybe we'll tone that down just a touch there we go a kind of a kind of a cherry red, a nice vibrant cherry red. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go with that. Accessories again. I don't think we're going to get very much unlocked. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of dots here that we could go for, but I can't fit anything to it. 
Um, we've got nothing here. Nothing here. So at level four and five, we're going to unlock some extra stuff. I mean, we need to be careful of the spending anyway. We can't... What are we on? 104k down here. We've already got 3k on the metallic paint, I think. What's on that? 10. Okay. Oh, we could put some painted mirrors on. Yeah, I think we'll take that. We'll take painted mirrors. What have we got up here? A banner? Nope. Don't think I need a roof bar yet. Um, do we want any rolls on the side? 500. I mean, that's a lot. I think I'll leave that out for now. We'll consider money to be a bit skimpy to be thinking about 500 euro horns on here. Now, the wheels we can do something with. What have we got available? We've actually got quite a lot available. That's more than I thought. The standard looks paint. The raven paint. Oh, the ravens are going to look good. Maybe a bit too modern, though, for this truck. Actually, what was the standard like? Okay, so that's your standard. That, that would be a standard paint right there. An elite rider paint, a dark silver paint, Eastern Eagle. Eastern Eagles look uh, pretty decent compared to the standard paint. I quite like the style of the Eastern Eagle. American Dream, Sirius. Yeah, let's go Eastern Eagle. Now, what about on the back here? What have we got on the back? Uh, standard paint. Standard Lux paint. How much? Blimey, this is uh, this is putting the budget up. A standard Lux paint. What would that like in that red? Oh, that is nice. That is very, very nice. I like that chrome finish there. Can we get anything even approaching that on the front? Um, American Dream... Raven, Sirius, what would that look like in red? Standard looks. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now, let's not, um, let's leave the inner black and maybe do something with the wheel nuts. Maybe we could go. Maybe just black like that. Maybe go with the black option. This is already coming up to 112. Why am I accessorizing? Why am I doing this? <laughs> I've got no money for this. I'm behaving like I've got endless money. Uh, tires. Well, we haven't got anything unlocked yet. That looks so nice, though. Oh, wow. If I had that as a first truck, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, we've got no options down there. There was one... What was that dot there? Neons. Okay, level five neons. Nothing on the back. Uh, on the side, we've got nothing either. Um, I may get rid of that just to get better frames. Also, I never really like those mirrors. I, I quite like these here. You can see the front, but with these, I'm not really that bothered. You never get anything. It's not like real life. You don't get anything coming down the side here, like your scooters and your bicycles and that kind of thing. It doesn't really matter. That's my doorbell. Nothing much I can do about the doorbell while you're recording, eh? Um, right, let's go with that. It's 111,000. I think we'll take that. Uh, let's buy our very first truck in Trucking Diaries EU. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely perfect. You pick up your brand new truck and it's binning it down. Well, so much for that showroom wax condition. Great. Let's jump inside. Where it's a little bit drier. There's a discoverable. Where are we now? We are in Copenhagen. And now... Whoops. Let's get rid of that. Excuse me. Go away. Uh, we've actually got a discoverable here. And then another one down here. So I think we'll go and grab that. And then we'll look for a job. Alright, let's get set up. Now I can actually fix the mirrors properly. And won't have to mess about with them again. Oops, left. Which will be kind of nice. Just a single mirrors. Pretty straightforward. Pretty basic. How things used to be. There we go. Alrighty then. Driving positions, fields. Okay, maybe just a touch forward there. Start it up. Oh. No brake set, of course. Whenever you buy a truck, it always irks me that the parking brake is not on. Sounds pretty good, though. Just a humble 360. 
But I'm sure we'll put it to work. Right, what have we got? 1L, 2L, 3L, 4L, 5L, 6L. Nope, 5L. And then we've got split. Okay. One, two, three. Right, so we've actually got split high, low range. And yeah, that's cool. All right. As long as I know we've got what we're working with here. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's get some wipers on. Okay, where have you put reverse? There it is. <laughs> Trying to work out whether I think I put reverse. Let's put the wipers on fully. No, I actually feel like we're sat a bit too far back. I think we're... Um, let's push it forward a touch. That's better. It feels like we're holding the wheel proper now. Yay! We've got our new truck. Where is all this traffic coming from? Come on. Let's put our very first mile on our truck. Whoa, that 360. Come on, girl. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, though, doesn't it? I like it. I could have gone a brand new truck and just like super modern and gone utter easy mode. Whoa! Those brakes need adjusting. <laughs> I think I've got old school classic brakes to go with it and this thing doesn't even have a trailer yet. Yeah, I could have gone for a super modern truck but I just thought this would be more challenging and more fun and um, you know, it's just that kind of retro feel, I like it. Iveco dealer. Okay, so we'll go around here. Bit of a strange loop, this bit. I think I need to be in that lane. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I do. I can't turn right, but the AI can. That's fine. Look at the indicator on the dash. It's like the little red line. So if I indicate right and left, look at it. <laughs> Absolutely classic. Of course, the main thing we don't have on this thing, and we probably never will, is a, is a, um, a sat nav. But the information panel works, look. You can see how much fuel we've got. That kind of thing. That all works. I'll just have to leave the pop-up on. Maybe later I'll be able to fit a uh, sat nav in the, in the window or something like that. Blimey, come on, lights. Aye, aye. Go on, throw on red, though. Oh, this is going to take some getting used to. It's going to be fun, though. Look at this speedometer. It's like, it's not even got notches on it. It's just like, got numbers. 24 to 68, 100. That's it. With like half measures and that's, it's just like there's no accuracy there whatsoever. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that. Okay, those brakes are crazy. I think I've got drum brakes. <laughs> not really old school brakes. I need to remember to brake a lot earlier. Good grief. All right, come on. Why's that guy going so slowly? So I'm guessing we've got a um, an agency down here that we need to discover, and then we'll have a look for a job. Don't really mind where we go on our first journey. Just kind of happy to be in our own truck for once. Although it does mean we've got to pick up the bills. Where's the turning? There we go. Oh, one of these days, I'm so gonna go in the back of these things. 
Let me have a quick look in the job market now. Um, let's see what we've got out of here. Okay, Copenhagen. We could head anywhere in Sweden and we would actually discover we can go to Poland with pot flowers. Well, that's actually got a fragile cargo. That will give us a bit of a bonus, actually. McDonald's. Ham to McDonald's. Outrageous. Okay. I might actually take that. Man, if we take that, I've got to pay the ferry myself. 600 euros for the ferry. Ouch. Hang on, I found that. 300 driving. This one is 400 driving. Involves a 1,700 ferry. Yikes. You what, mate? All the way up to the Faroe Islands? I don't think so. I'm not ready for that yet. Why am I getting crazy jobs? Okay, margarine for 11k. It's a bit boring, but it will take us into Linkoping. Uh, cod liver. All the way back to the UK. Alright. How much are these paying? Where's the margarine? The margarine one wasn't bad. That one. Pays 11,800 with no ferry. That one's just got silly ferries on it. Which is like 3,000 euros worth of ferry costs. Um, or we go to Bergen for 12. But again, that's got a ferry cost of 1,700. It's the hidden price, you see. You've got to take that off the bottom line, though. Because it brings the price right down. I think I might take this one. It's 488 uh, kilometers with some margarine. How very, very exciting. Also, let me just make sure the pickup points are correct. All right, so we're going to drive past here. Oh, man, we're going to have to go in there just to loop around. And then we'll go and pick it up from here. And then we'll take the margarine all the way up to Sweden. And hopefully this rain is going to cease at some point. Have you ever picked up a brand new car, or even just a car, like, and it's a lovely sunny day? It's just brilliant. But when you pick it up and it's raining, and it, it sits there in the showroom, and it looks utterly mint because the dealer always cleans it. So it looks lovely and clean, and then you pick it up, and by the time you get it back home, it's covered in rain, it's maybe got some dirt on the side of it, and you're like, no, I just wanted to go for a drive in my car, not sit in the rain and get it muddy. Wow, what the heck? I have no idea why this is taking so long. Thank you! Okay, we need to get in the left lane. Because we're going to go this way and go down there somewhere. What a really annoyingly, awkwardly placed agency. That you have to physically drive down a road just to get the discoverable for it. There we go. I think we can turn around on the forecourt without smashing into anything. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, back on the road. Left turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, I... I Either gonna have to put my um, my brake adjustment up, or seriously learn to start braking earlier because that one is gonna catch me out big time. Okay, there's no gear there. Must remember, note to self: there is no six gear on this. <laughs> there's no six. There's no twelve gear position. I tried to stick it into the wrong position, and that's what happened. That's why I ended up revving, because there was no gear to engage. I, 
I think the trailer, the trailer's in white, so it's gonna look pretty okay with our red truck. Do you know what? I don't think I've driven around Copenhagen that much. Was that a football pitch in somebody's garden? That was so weird. Here we are, the distribution center with the margarine. I think it's one of those, isn't it? Can't remember what the star was. Stop. There we go. Freight market and margarine, 23 tons, all the way to Nor Food. Um, there you go, over there. Standard box trailer, but it should work quite nicely for what we're doing. Hello? Wow. That was completely misjudged. Okay, I'm just trying to get myself, like, an idea of the width of the truck to pick up this particular trailer. There we go. Alright, that looks pretty good. White trailer, red truck. That's that's actually quite um, quite realistic, that, that particular style. Although 360 is going to be fun. How heavy is this thing? 23 tonnes. <laughs> 23 tons <clears throat> this is gonna be fun come on oh please come on get really what you're saying that you can't get past it you utter troll <laughs> you utter troll I don't even know what the AI was trying to do. Like, I wasn't even indicating or anything. Wow, come on. Right, it looks like we're going to have to... make sure we give it the revs before we change up. Like, I just went first to third, and... just didn't want to know. Yeah, in between the like each gear is a significant amount of difference in the uh, the ratios. If you watch the rev counters when I change just one single gear, it's quite a substantial change in revs. I think the gears are too far apart for this 360. Which means we're going to have to over rev it before I change up, otherwise I won't have enough torque when I uh, hit the higher gear. Looks like the rain's subsiding, finally. Put that on intermittent. We'll do it though. We'll make the delivery. We got this. I'll actually be glad to get out of Copenhagen. It's like chucking it down with rain all day. Is it our turn? Oh, come on. These lights are insane. This is like real life. Kuhn Nagel. Wait, have we gone? No, that's ours. So it had right turn only, and then it's gone to left turn. I get it. Yeah, this thing has, um... Oh, 
with this particular weight, it's uh, it's definitely going to be a struggle, you know. I'm put like my foot is flat on the gas though, and it's on a flat. So imagine this when we're going up a hill, we're going to be in a fairly low gear, I think. I don't mind. I like a challenge. Oh, 50 limit. For some reason I thought it was 60. It's pretty good scenery here. I like it. Right, the 156 to Copenhagen, straight on. And then the right turn onto the highway. I think, actually I should have checked the map, shouldn't I? I should have checked the map for discoverables on the way, so just to make sure there's nothing that we should be getting, like this for example. Um, we could probably forget that, but we could, in theory... Oh, really? I was kind of hoping that we can get off the highway and go... There you go. If we go like that way, then it should discover Malmo on the way. I can't be bothered to take that particular discoverable there. Uh, if we was to get off this way and go through town, we might as well get that discoverable. Whereas that one I'm thinking we'll leave out because it's... Well, I mean, we could loop around, but it's it's a bit of faff, isn't it? Hang on. Okay, maybe we'll do it. We'll do it. We're, we're going to need to do this anyway. I've changed my mind. Then into Yon Coping, it's going to be through there. And then up to Lin Coping is going to be via... What? How does that... Okay, we'll leave that. We'll, we'll do that one with her. <laughs> That's crazy. Pick a point down the road and it goes, Oh yes, you need to go a completely different way on the highway. Huh? Must be some crazy one-way system. E47 to Rodby, according to that sound on the right there. That's where we're about to go. There's actually an airport here on the E20. That traffic light's a bit of a... I don't know, there's something about the design that's a bit odd. It's going to 2L, not 3L. The only thing is, having to rev more than I should is going to hit the fuel efficiency a little bit. Thanks. Won't take you as long to start off as me because you have no physics. Right, let's put the wipers down. Into the off position. And I think the rain's finishing. Yeah, fourth gear, flat out. This is going to be an interesting journey. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the plane. That's the airport down there. I tell you what, if you ever fly into Copenhagen, I've done it in a sim, I've never done it in real life, but Copenhagen is a cracking airport to fly into in a sim. Just drop down to the side lights. Speed limit is 80. I think we need to watch. It's all about momentum in this truck. We need to make sure we keep momentum going. Because I really don't want to experience a, uh, a standing start on a hill. That's going to be a little bit nasty. Let's watch the speed here. There we go. This thing's quite happy to roll. Looks like 5L is a good gear. Listen to his struggle. Oh my god. Yep, just doesn't want to know. This is such a good bridge over here. I love this, this bridge. This is what I mean. When you actually come in, 
when you land at the airport you get to see all of these bridges around it and it just looks so good it looks better than this in real life oh come on truck you can do it there we go now rest stops hang on remember we need to consider rest next rest stop in seven hours this thing needs to be the Wednesday half past three till ten o'clock okay so that means we're not expecting to rest we're not expecting to rest at all on this trip because our ETA is in six hours 40 so it looks like we're gonna make the journey and then we'll have to actually sleep I really hope they've got an auto pass here. I wish I could zoom in. Am I seeing barriers? Am I seeing auto pass? It looks like an auto. Yay! Momentum wins! Fantastic. Let's get over there before that guy cuts me up a bit. Okay, 4H actually seems to like... Oh! 4H seems like a good gear to go into right now. I'm not sure if it's ready for 5L. Fagan and Wally, UK and European transport. I tell you what, you see a lot of red-green combos in logistics. if I can use 4L all the way around here. I very much doubt it. But we're going to try. Oh, come on! Nope, it's not having it. Okay. It looks like going from low to high is definitely the way to go with this. It just prefers it, you know. It prefers those split gears. It really helps the um, the engine. So we'll do that. Okay, Malmo discovered. Uh, off to the right. Let's go and pick up that awkward discoverable. Oh man, I wish I, I wish I knew, mind you, if I'd, have, if I'd have pulled out, that car would have probably hit me. Nice Volvo with a DHL skin. It'd be a shame if I just happened to hit this lovely car in front of me here, with my really old truck. <laughs> Is this a, a truck dealer? Or is it a, um, an agency? I can't actually see. I think it's an agency. Which will become important when we hire. <clears throat> Although having said that, you usually get a good driver in the first recruitment anyway. But the thing is, when you come to re recruiting drivers, <clears throat> I mean, obviously we need to have more money to buy another truck. That's that's a given. But you'll often see drivers with, like, decent ratings, but their skill matrix is pretty rubbish. And by rubbish, I mean they'll have skills in points that you think to yourself, mm, it would be better if I had a long-distance skill point and, you know, a fragile or something like that, rather than two points in eco-driving, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to bring the money in as quickly as somebody who's already got a point in long distance. 
And even though they might have a lower driver rating, I find they earn money much better. Because getting skill points is pretty hard uh, for the AI. Like, they more or less level up when you do. And so I prefer them to have some points already in good things. So the more agencies we have, the more driver... Um, the drivers available that we'll have to choose from and we can hopefully get the good ones That's why I'm taking the time to make these discoverables Right time to jump on the highway Got another detour coming up shortly, I think. Oh, that was careless. Did I damage the truck? No. Got away with that. <laughs> I big time got away with that. Okay, well, we're on the road. Um, we're going to have to cut it here because it's going to be quite a long journey. It's going to be well over an hour uh, in total, given that we've customised the truck as well. So I shall see you on the next episode. Until next time, guys, take care. Happy trucking.